Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while since we've done a couple videos and apologize for that. I've been on vacation, but it's good to be back. Good to have you all with us. And today we've got something really cool that we are excited to show you. It's been a while since Benchmade's come back, <clears throat> come out with the uh, the gold class knives. And I want to say that it's been about a year or so since we've seen these come through, but this is the first gold class to come through for 2022. This is going to be released uh, tomorrow, which would be August the 19th, 2022. This is the 15085-221 Mini Crooked River. So let's do a, <clears throat> an unboxing here. If you're not familiar with the Gold Class knives, the typically the Gold Class knives will come with this beautiful uh, black box that we see here. So we're going to open this up. And within each card, each uh, box will be a card with the uh, certificate of authenticity with the new owner, John Diosis, um, son of Les Diosis. <clears throat> so that's really cool. And this particular piece is uh, limited to only 200 units. They only made 200 units of this mini Crooked River and comes with this uh, really cool pouch. And let's take a look at the knife because I know you're not interested in seeing the pouch. So here we go. So again, this is the Mini Crooked River, the 15085-221. If you're wondering, if you're um, about how uh, Benchmade comes up with the numbers, so after that dash, the uh, the first number, that two, uh, two, one, so the 22 would symbolize the year that uh, this model has come out. So obviously it's the year 2022. And that one means this is the first iteration of the gold class knife for this particular model. If they were to come out with a another mini Crooked River in 2022, that would be a different flavor, then that would end in a two. And then the third one would end a three and so on and so on. So, but enough about that. Let's take a look at this beautiful mini Crooked River knife. And let's just say, wow. <laughs> So this is the first time I've seen this particular blade steel pattern. This is the Chad Nichols, let's see, it is the Lizard Damascus pattern. And it's really, really cool. So we've got that pattern. And then this is what uh, Benchmade is calling the, <clears throat> the G Carta handle. It looks like a Mexican blanket. So let me just read you the quick description from Benchmade on their um, product announcement. Crooked River fans and collectors rejoice. This one will make a crater when it finally drops. The 15085-221 Gold Class Mini Crooked River has a color palette that pops. Inspired by the landscape of the American Southwest, these brilliant colors include uh, different colors from the oxidized rock, copper from the earth, unpretended sand and dirt that blows with the wind, all accentuated by turquoise blue and a red that can only come from the sun. So obviously these aren't materials from the earth, but it's a really clever way of describing this unique color. Moving on, limited to 200 pieces, the 15085-221 is an EDC knife unlike any ever made in the USA factory. This gold class mini Crooked River Redo will turn heads with materials like Chad Nichols Damascus Steel and G Carta. Feel good with this knife in your pocket? It's truly one of a kind. Okay, so enough about that. Let's just really appreciate the craftsmanship in this knife. Again, it's only limited to uh, 200 pieces. And the retail price on this knife is $900. And again, this knife will debut tomorrow, which would be August the 19th. So it's really hard to really appreciate this pattern of the um, Damascus without seeing, you know, without being in natural light. It's kind of cool turquoise or, well, not even, yeah, I guess turquoise backspacer signature clip. You know, for a gold class knife, it would have been cool if Benchmade did something really different and unique with the clip. Um, that's just my personal opinion. So let's just do a quick comparison, get these out of the way. Oh, here, what's also really cool is that every knife will come with a sheath that's premium alligator skin pouch with blue stitching. So that's, that's a nice touch. You know, you know, if you're going to match that lizard pattern of the, um, 
Uh, the blade steel, kind of cool to match it with uh, another reptile. So, let's just insert that there, see what that looks like. There, there you go. Would you ever really use this alligator sheath? I don't know, it depends. You know, if you don't want this getting, if you, you don't want the knife getting scratched up in your pocket, yeah, you'll probably use it. So let's do a quick comparison with uh, some other Benchmade knives. Uh, let's see, I have another mini Crooked River. So this is the standard production model, <clears throat> 15085-2. Identical lengths within the, uh, the handle and blade length, blade shape is different. This one is around 260-ish or 280-ish. I have to, don't quote me on that. I got to look at the price. I don't know that off the top of my head. But, you know, it's very similar in, in terms of that that uh, ring that's around the uh, the pivot point. I have a beautiful blue and then the standard orange. And I have, for another reference point, the Mini Freak. Okay. And I thought this would be really cool. I own a <clears throat> Protec Emerson also with a Mexican blanket. So if you wanted to see what those two look like. You know, it's generally very close within the overall length. That's kind of cool. The You know, I'd be interested to see if they actually source the same Mercado. If by... Again, you can't see this um, within the video, or you can't feel it, but this is actually a little bit rougher, just barely, and this is more smooth. The Protect is smoother than the um, than the Benchmade here. So, main difference is that with the Benchmade, both sides have that really cool Jakarta. So, what do you guys think? Do you like this Mexican blanket pattern? I think it's kind of cool. Uh, of course, that's why I own this Protect variation. What I like about the Protect is that you obviously have more surface area. With the Benchmade, they stop right here at this point and have this other material. Now, I'm going to list the specs for this particular uh, Mini Crooked River down below in the, just above the comment section. Let us know what you think. We're very eager to hear uh, your comments. I know that these will probably sell very fast due to, the, due to the fact that it's a gold class knife. It's a Mini Crooked River. They're only limited to 200 models uh, or 200 units out there. So it's going to be incredibly rare. Um, only 200 people will actually get them. I know in the past, when uh, Les was alive, they Benchmade would um, give him and his wife the first and second unit uh, out of, you know, 200 or 250. So Les would keep one, and then his wife would keep the second one. I don't know if that's the same case with John, who's Les's son, and taken over the company. He actually took over the company before his father passed away, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but, uh, so I don't know if that's, if they're still carrying on that tradition where John would then have the first knife and then if his wife would have the second knife, I don't know. I'd have to contact Benchmade and see and find out. So if you're a collector out there, you're never going to get number one and number two. Um, that stays with the, the Asus family. As far as I know, I could be wrong. I'm not sure. But, um. Anyway, this is really cool. I'm really excited that finally Benchmade came back with the Gold Class knife. It's been, it seems like forever since they had the uh, the Gold Class out there. Uh, they did not have any in 2021. And then 2020, I can't remember how many models that they had um, that particular year. But it's always cool to see some other variation. Is this one my favorite? Probably not. Uh, they Benchmade came out with a, another mini Cricket River Gold Class with the marble um, carbon fiber or, or type um, look in a different pattern with the uh, Damascus steel as opposed to this lizard. I would say that the lizard complements 
the um, the Marcarta very nicely. I, again, they're calling it uh, G Carta, but the pattern I would describe personally would be a Mexican blanket. So let us know what you think. If you know, as a gold class knife, do you think this is worth nine hundred dollars? Are you getting the value that you think that you're paid for? I would think so with the uh, type of blade steel that you're paying for, and then also the uniqueness. I would like to see them improve or do something different with the clip. This is just a standard Benchmade clip. There's a, if you want to compare it again, let's look at the, um, the other Benchmade that I have. It's a little bit different. This one's black, this one's more of a bronze look, but, but so what, I mean, Personally, I want to be wild. I want, you know, if it's a gold class knife, I want to be like, wow, that's really cool that they did something different with that clip. But that's just a personal preference. So I don't know. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. If you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe down button down below and uh, let us know what you guys think. And uh, it's great to be back. It's great to see you guys again <clears throat> and interact. And uh, stay tuned. We got more knives coming out later on this month. Y'all take care.